Dr. Jeffrey Ogeman is a neurosurgeon at the University of Washington. He takes us inside the fascinating world of brain surgery. You've often heard that we only use 10% of our brain or some number like that. That's certainly not true. What is true is we understand very little of the brain and what we're doing with it. We're dealing with easily the most remarkable system uh, on Earth and maybe in the universe. Other scientists have long been fascinated by how complex it is. It has billions and billions of connections uh, and uh, is more complicated than the World Wide Web in terms of uh, how connected things are. And so what we do, even though it's very precise and refined, is still very crude compared to the calculations and the interactions that the brain is making on a second-to-second -second basis. When you first get in there and see the brain, you notice several things. First of all, even though we're all wired differently, uh, the brain looks almost exactly the same in everyone on first inspection. And so the sense of the universality of the brain is the first thing you see. And then as you explore and see that, no, every brain is solving things just slightly different in terms of how it's connected together, uh, that's a, a, a very remarkable uh, experience to, to s figure out in each individual person uh, how, they're, how they're solving the problem of how to talk or how to uh, figure out what an object is in front of you or how to communicate. Uh, but then when you step back and say, boy, for every little area we apply current, there are uh, almost a million cells underneath there all talking to each other and all talking to different parts of the brain. And you realize there's a whole universe of things going on that we're only beginning to understand. We can't just look at the brain and say language is right there because it isn't everybody. It doesn't work that way. Everyone is different. Uh, maybe because language seems to be a relatively uh, new on the scene in human history, we're not sure why it is that it seems to vary more than other functions. People who are right-handed uh, typically have their language on the left side of the brain. And that's true for about 98% of right-handers. Left-handers are different as a group. Uh, most left-handers, about two out of three, will also have their speech on the left side, just like most right-handers. But about a third of them will have language that's organized very differently. It may even be entirely on the opposite side or on the right side of the brain. Uh, and For some people, they actually will have language on both sides of the brain. Now, whether that makes them smarter or just makes them put together different, we don't know. One of the ways we find these areas is when you're doing stimulation mapping. Some parts of the brain you touch with the current and you'll get a brief movement of, say, the thumb or the face. Other parts, there won't be any movement, but the patient will have a very strong sensation that, they're either, uh, that either their thumb is moving, even though it, you can't see it moving, or that they're being touched or that there's some numb sensation uh, in, their, in that part of the body. One of the challenges in brain mapping is that the brain is, if it was unfolded, would be as big as a large pizza, and this has to be fit inside the skull. When the brain's exposed, sometimes the exposure is quite large, and we have to look at a variety of different areas. Uh, we label the parts of the brain uh, with sterile tags that allow us to keep track of uh, what parts we've tested. Now this can sometimes be very strange. We've, there have been examples of uh, people with damage to the brain or through stimulation where the only thing they have trouble with may be one specific person or one specific category of things. So there are people who can have no trouble naming uh, objects or people, but they have a terrible time telling you what a hammer is. And so some of these things uh, are really remarkable in how the brain has uh, has organized things and don't always fit with how we would intuitively uh, put something together.